everybody this is our new edition of Faxman Friday Saturday Sunday Monday last week we changed it up a bit and uh, posted up some teaser selections for you guys I think I had about five or six games that I thought would, would really work well with teasers and um, if you look at the thread uh, all the teaser sides had won actually I think if, if we'd have bet the game straight up would have been five and one uh, I should take these glasses off. I'm gonna try to keep this video a little short because um, last week we had like fucking 18 minutes of stuff, and I'm just rambling on talking about nonsense. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little football whip around for you guys, basically give you some ideas on on some things that I'm looking at. Um, this week I want to discuss this, this game particularly, uh, Virginia against K Kent State. I think this line opened up 21, 21 and a half in some places. is now sitting at 27 and a half. What's really interesting about this game is the total on this game is 44. It was actually 42. When it's very rare you see a team four touchdown favorites and the total is that low. Um, a bunch of money comes in on Virginia early, bringing it up to 27 and a half, might even go to 28, don't know. But the total at 44, uh, here, here's what I'm looking at. Um, with, with a total this low, my suggestion would be, now I, I didn't play this game, but I'm close to it, and I'm considering it, but he, here's how I'm looking at. Here's what I'm looking at. I need Kent State to score eight points to guarantee me that no worse, I'm going to split and go one and one if I play the same amount of money on over 44 as I do Kent State plus 27 and a half. Here's why. Let's just say the game is 35-8, okay? Uh, that's a cover. That's a cover for 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 Kent State, right? I mean, it's thirty-five eight is what twenty-seven points. Um, you got to cover. The game don't go over. My point is, I just need Kent State to score more than eight points, right? If they do that. I have uh, a better shot. My my best scenario is going two and zero. My least scenario is going 0-2. The chance of going 0-2 on this play just it would be less than probably 11%. So a team that gives up like 27 points a game in Virginia, there might be a little letdown in this kind of game. Um, just, get, just can't stay, just get a touchdown and a field goal. Just get, you know, get three field goals. End of story. If I played over and I play and I play um, Kent State, uh, I can't lose both bets. Now, on the other hand, I can play Virginia in a blowout. They can win 54 nothing or 54-10 or whatever the case is, and I'm okay there. So it's not like I'm saying I like Kent State. I think if you want to bet the game and ensure that you have a better shot of going 2-0 and at, at worst 1-1, one and one, you take the dog in the over. Or, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think you can get hurt either, either way with that. Again, if you take the, the Virginia in the over and it's, you know, 24-10 or 31-10, uh, you're going you have a shot of you know losing both so I think the safe play there is if you're looking to go 2-0 um, you, you take the dog plus 27 and a half and and you go over in that game again this isn't something that I played but this is something that is a game of interest uh, my gut feeling this weekend is there's some home dogs in college and pro football that I think have shots of winning I said I want to get into some money lines money line stuff uh, Washington at home, could they beat Stanford? Sure they could. NC State plus 18 and a half. That number 18 and a half brings me back to my teaser numbers. Don't tease the game, tease the number. Uh, at home, taking 28 and a half against an FSU team who might be a bit under, overrated. Uh, I think 28 and a half is, is, is pretty solid play there. Um, Duke Miami, I look, I look at that game. When I saw that line at seven and a half, I says, there's no way Miami's seven and a half points better than Duke. No way. Well, bookies. Odds makers made that adjustment and wake up this morning at six and a half. Um, I think Duke might be a better team. Uh, Miami's home, so it's a game that uh, it's a tough game. Gun to my head, I, I, I take the points there. Uh, Sunday, um, I always do this on, on, on when you see something on Monday. How bad did the Jets look on Monday? They fucking lose at home. Um, what usually happens? Oh. Playing the Lions. Lions are only two. Don't the Lions have Matt Stafford? He's a fucking tramp. Oh, do they have Calvin Johnson? 
you know, you see the Lion team, high, more, more high-profile players. We're perceived to see we saw the Jets suck. Geno Smith sucks. And what always happens the following week? Fucking Jets look like world beaters. It's the same old dog-ass Lions. So, I mean, that's something that, that I was looking at a little bit. Um, the Bears, why shouldn't they win at home? They played well. They're coming in with momentum. Um, Green Bay's not impressing me. Uh, again, I don't like betting against Green Bay in a must-win situation. But, I mean, you got to respect what the Bears are doing. My best game, my, my honest best game, and I bet this and I sent it out. If you want an official pick, I took Kansas City plus three and a half uh, to beat New England on Monday. Fuck, I'm, I'll bet on a money line. I mean, three and a half is generous. But Kansas City is better than most people think. And New England just has the name New England. I watched them struggle against the, the, the Raiders. They couldn't put them away. I don't know. You know, New England... They just, you know, put them on, on the road. They're, not, they're a different team. Um, they, they have a type of, I don't know if they can match score for score with Kansas City. I think Kansas City should be live there. Um, my game of interest of the week. So follow me on this one. And again, I don't normally read shit, but um, I have to read this shit because I'm talking about a lot of different scenarios. Nevada's a five-point favorite against San Jose State. That's the last game on the board. And normally the last game on the board, odds makers do take into consideration that it's the chase game. Winners want to fucking pound. Losers want to chase. So generally you'll see a lot of favorite money come in. Okay, People will bet the better team. Nevada is clearly the better team. There's no question about it. But the line's really funny to me. And what I say that is when I make a line in a game, I make this game maybe 10, 9.5, something like that. Now odds makers make mistakes. But they don't make five point mistakes, you know. So if this game is more like six and a half or seven, I say, you know what, Nevada could be a play here for me. I look at it, but when it's ten, I'm missing something. The odds makers see something that I don't, and I get curious and I start investigating it. Uh, what do, what do I know? Um, you know, Nevada scores more points. They give up less. Every stat in the world will make you pound the fuck out of Nevada. But I'm thinking that's what the books want. Nevada doesn't win on, on the road. 0-5 straight up the last five. Well, if you're laying five and you don't win on the road, how the fuck are you going to cover five? On the other hand, uh, San Jose, I think they're 11-4 and four straight up in the last 15 at home. Better home team. So so I, I think I think San Jose State can play a tough game at home. The key to that game is this. They need to stay in that game in the first, in the first quarter. If they stay in that game in the first quarter, um, they could beat them. So, so that's a game that, again, I, I didn't give it out. I'm not, it's not it's not one of my games. It's just a game of interest that I'm looking at. So maybe some of you people are looking at it and say, wow, is that line wrong? Well, yeah, it's wrong, but I think it's wrong for a reason. So, I mean, I'm looking at that. Um, I'm looking at that game, and I'm thinking, you know, something might be might, might be funny. So, some major moves that I've seen. I've seen Notre Dame open up. I think they were 12 and a half, 13, maybe 14, something like that, down to 9 and a half against Syracuse. Pretty shocking line drop since Notre Dame does take a lot of money and Syracuse sucks. Again, I don't have an opinion one way or the other on that game. Um, so, I mean, that's a few guys to decide. Um, going back to the pros, I got, a, I got a game that I'm looking at. And it's not looking at, I'm just curious. Um, I think everybody's going to bet the 49ers on Sunday. 49ers are due. They're, you know, they're due to win. I mean, Philly, you know, going out west, they're going to lose a game. They have to lose a game eventually. Well, why? I mean, Philly's finding ways finding ways to win games. So so that's kind of scary. I do agree with the point where, hey, they're going out west. If they're going to lose a game, the perfect spot for Philly to get beat would be here against San Francisco. But two ways to look at it. If you think San Francisco explodes and, 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 and shows up and just lays a beating on, um, on Philly, Philly's ripe to get beat here. But I don't think San Francisco is that good. I really don't. So, I mean, I don't know. So again, just two options for you guys to, to, to discuss on it. But like I said, my big play is going to be the Kansas City Chiefs on Monday. I like them a lot. Uh, game of interest, like I said, <coughs> excuse me, is, is that is that Nevada game on um, Nevada-San Jose game. I think the dog shows some value there if you guys are looking at that. And again, if you take Kent State uh, plus the points and over, you're guaranteed 1-1, one one, if not 2-0. and oh. I think that's a real, real safe play if you guys want to hustle out a play where the most you can lose is juice or go to one out. Uh, some some quick um, some quick uh, plugs. www.sportsforumpicks.com. It's where I call home. If you motherfuckers that don't know that by now, then um, something is wrong. Um, stop by the forum. 
A lot of people are posting games, and I say this all the time, a lot of, a lot of good handicappers are posting games. Read through some of the threads, read through some of the write-ups. Really interesting stuff there, okay? It's a bash-free forum, so if you come in there and you want to post an opinion on a game, no one's going to call you a motherfucker if you lose. I can promise you that. Um, but like I say, information is key. And anytime somebody's posting something, an idea, a thought, or a trend, and that's what I'm basically doing this week. I'm just kind of giving you guys ideas on things that I see. I'm not telling you to play all these games. I'm just telling you that if you are looking at some of them, here's some of the angles that I'm looking at on the games. Maybe that makes you either stay off of it. Maybe that makes you lean towards a certain side, whatever the case may be. Last thing, um, I said this last week. No, I didn't do a video last week, but we're doing a forum plug. Uh, I'm doing a forum promo. Normally, guys that email me, the YouTube and the Twitter guys that are saying, look, I can't do a year, I can't do a three-month program, we are now doing a 30-day program. It's a 30-day program, $300, comes out to 10 bucks a day. Basically, if you break down the games, it's probably about two, three bucks a day uh, a play. Baseball's coming up, playoffs, which I'm excited about. So, you know, to me, it's a real good time of year for me. Last two weeks in football, eight and two, nine and three. Major League Baseball's, you know, playoffs are starting. My dick is getting real hard. So it's now up to two inches. So I'm really happy about that. So anyway, uh, again, I was trying to keep this video short, but I just keep rambling on. I got to stay away from fucking drugs and coffee. Okay, I got to stay away from coffee. All right, other than that, guys, um, visit sportsforumpicks.com. Anybody interested in the program, shoot me an email, joe at faxman.com. That's J-O-E at F-A-C-T-S-M-A-N. That's faxman. Again, not fat man. I understand. It might be a little heavy, but don't make the fucking mistake. It's faxman. If it's something that you think you might want or explore, shoot me an email. If you want to jerk me off, don't email me. Um, that's it. Um, everybody, great weekend. Oh, by the way, it is Thursday when I'm filming this. I am going. I showed everybody my tickets. Where is it? My tickets. I show them again. Fucking Redskins Giant game. Look at this shit. Redskins Giants tonight. See that? Sweet. Sweet. Going to the fucking game tonight. Uh, can't can't bet the Giants or the Redskins. My wife's a Redskins fan. Training my daughter to be a Redskins fan. I'm a Giant fan. So um, I'm just going to go um, over and uh, see the game. So yeah, I mean, pain in the ass in traffic heading to that field. If people around the D.C. area, you know. So it should take me about over 45 minutes to get there and uh, be able to see the game on time. Sometimes it's 46 minutes or 45 and a half minutes. I don't know. But anyway, guys, if you're watching this video, do what you need to do. Make some money. And if you can't pick up some of the things that I said, you're a dumb motherfucker. Just the facts, man, for everybody. Sports Forum Picks, Twitter, um, YouTube, um, Penthouse Forum, Swank Magazine, all my other affiliates. Have a great day. Good luck. And as always, go fuck yourself.